Hey guys, Jarvis here with It's Not Junk TV. Hey, this is a quick pop-up video. I don't know how quick it'll be, but I'm running my weekly uh, scrapper out here this week, and I have come across a pretty decent amount of stuff. Um, this was all in one place, and I think what we'll do is, uh, I think what we'll do is go through this, and you guys can come along and sort through it with me. Uh, I'm not sure what all is here. I've seen a few things. I emptied out both garbage cans. Uh, I probably look kind of foolish with half my body hanging out this man's garbage, but I think I found some pretty good stuff. So, uh, as far as scrap goes, I don't, nothing we could probably take and do anything with, but hang tight. I'm going to get some totes together, get everything out of the truck back here into my backyard with the rest of the stuff. And, uh, we'll see what we got. All right. So this is what all come from one, one stop. Uh, the container I already had in the truck and luckily was able to dump some of it in there. This container was already in my truck for sorting. Filled that one up. And everything else was buried in the man's garbage or woman's garbage, I guess. Another one of my containers I went ahead and filled up. That metal tray, Coleman. But I figure I got a couple boxes and totes. I'll probably end up sorting back into one of the ones I already have. But I figure no better place than start right here. Everybody's got a. Everybody's got coffee cans anyway. Hardware. Mainly we just want to kind of separate the, the trash, trash. See what I'll say. Sticks. Sticks and stuff. Test equipment, wire. Do that, then. That's going to be how about wire over there. Huh. Somebody twisted that one right around. I hope it's not too dark out here. It's kind of evening time. I say I was running my route and. I was kind of excited about it. Got a pocket knife. Oh, somebody's been using the mix stuff with. Some earplugs. I'm not sure what that is. Looks like a little hardware. Looks like plastic. Any of the plastic. That's what we're going to do now. That's just solely scrap. There ain't a bit left in it, it don't look like. Just scrap. This right, I don't think. Case aluminum. Plastic and trash. Wood. Do that stuff out of there first. Put all the hardware type stuff. Let's 
Get a little bit of the metal to it. into one to make it easier to go through but mainly I'm going to get trash and tools cleaned up I'm going to bunch of scrap down That might be pretty cool. I don't know what that is. There's just some random screws and stuff. Hey, if you've not taken the time to like and subscribe, please do so. I'd like to know that I'm, you guys are liking what I'm doing here. You want to see me. Packings for faucets, what it looks like to me. Probably a faucet they haven't made in forever. I think I got the little steel yeah, I think I got the little steel chainsaw that come off of it was in this bunch. If not, it'll be scrap. Okay, I'm gonna switch. I'm kind of curious as to what's in here. Huh. Have to look at them closer in a bit. Uh, that's a watch box. But that's not what's in it, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to look at them a little closer and see what them are. I'll show you what they are, don't worry. Disregard old spark plugs. This stuff's gotten expensive. I've also been holding on to sets of points too when I find them. I bought some not long ago and was very surprised to see how expensive they were. Like some various eye hooks, maybe need to have something, wire, garbage. Maybe there's like something, nails in a bag. Yeah, that's looking like a lot of hardware. Didn't see no. Treasures or nothing here. Not yet. Hmm. Not sure what them are either. Well, guess I got some nails and screws, ball bearings, nuts, bolts. So it seems like most of it is. That's all right. Yeah, that's a... Some kind of weird adapter. Yeah. 
Hold on, let me find me a big tray and we'll just dump all this stuff out. That way we can see it. All right, so we're back. It's been a few days. We've had some rain, but I've drug everything in and I've drug everything back out. So I think what we're going to try to do is get through this tote here first. I need to get this stuff sorted and everything taken over to everything taken over. Sorry about that. Taken over to where I can start breaking it down and getting it. Get all the excess metals pulled off of it. Of course, everything. A big pile here. A Roman, somebody pitched up this extension cord. That's a pretty good one. That's just a piece of copper, just raw, heavy copper. It's, so I'm filming this with my phone if you notice in the, the jumpiness in it. Let me get this extension cord worked out of here. All right, got that pain in the neck extension cord out of the way. I said this stuff I ended up dumping out of a garbage can. It was all in the bed of my truck and I kind of just raked it all back in so I'm not even sure. Looks like a lot of just be going to shred steel. Some alligator clips, somebody's little test rig. Wore out para. brand channel locks it looks like but I think they've probably gonna make it to the scrap pile a pair of snap rings I'll keep them there's another set US made protos so that's a pretty good deal that's a pretty good find and I think that's let's see that's probably solid brass or solid copper wood Yep, yep, pretty good find. Take the tools. Got the scrub brush and it wore out. I don't know. I don't know what kind of little goodies you'll find. Got this steel, this steel, this steel. Long cords. Push button deal. Somebody was saving. Piece of wire. Piece of wire. Garbage, garbage. Concrete edge finishing tool. Got a little bit of residual on it. But probably scrap, scrap, bar of aluminum. Scrap. Post base plate, little Oregon chainsaw blade, bar. You see no wear on it, so it might be a decent one. Uh, more wire. For a mower and a motor that hasn't been used in a long time. Big piece of cast flywheel. Some kind of power supply or something. Looks like scrap wire to me. I don't decide to keep them. Looks like a 
box of spade fuses that I put in there. to a handle to a two-man saw. I think it's just missing the wooden part. I think the wood is routed away. I do think that's what it that is. A little coping saw. More wire. Industrial. Yeah, I've seen the industrial stuff before. Rat tail files, a couple of them. Yeah, a couple of little goodies in there. That's probably an old proto or something box. Miscellaneous goodies. sure it's going to rain again so get this stuff under weather real quick that's nothing but scrap it's all rotted and some kind of retainers, some kind of anchors. More hardware. Put that in there. somebody was making there but I keep that little utility knife 
test leads. It's SK. It's broke. Just hardware. The more that it gets started, the more than likely end up just being scrap. Little mini squirrel cage, man. I might see if that'll work. I burn wood to keep warm, so that could be useful for circulating air around the house. It may rain on me again, I think. I think that one's had better days. A ice pick. They're handy sometimes too. Set of bits. I think it's some kind of box cutter. Yep. Yep. Looks like a bunch of nails. And a corner bracket. Two more for the scrap bin. call for them anymore. Yeah. Nothing super califragilistic. It's like a couple of knife handle rivets. I'll probably come back and snatch them at another time. I can go in there. Something I've seen in there was a drill bit and a pencil. And that can go with. And the next round of videos I'm going to put out, you should see here in the next week or so, will be it's going to be uh, me breaking all this stuff down and getting it ready for the scrap. Pouch. Big gnarly wire brush. I'll keep that piece of wire. Airbrush. I'll keep that. Big heavy brass nozzle. We'll go to the wire bin. Something still clamped down there. I'm pretty sure that's for, you know, that's for de measuring the depth of your tire tread. I'm pretty sure. Hold on to it. 
New hacksaw blade. Hold on to that. One box now. Pull this one up. Fuck you. Corroded old screwdriver. Looks like the float out of a carburetor. Little drill bits will hold on to them. We'll hold on to the drill bits. And big Allen key. Another drill bits. I've taken them apart before, but it's a uh, like a recliner that raises and lifts you out to help the elderly get up and out. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. All right, down to the last couple here. Finally, after all those have been hanging tight, here we got another another wire brush, pegboard stuff. One day when I have a shop, I'll have a pegboard, bag of screws, a couple miscellaneous bits, scrap, scrap, brand new grinder, spring-loaded gate, hinges, they could be handy. Miscellaneous bits. Tray's kind of cool, but it's a drawer out of something. I'd like to have the little cabinet that it was in. that there's no garbage i've already picked out the garbage anything that was super oops wanting to keep eh, i'm gonna leave this box just as it is screws the wheels are kind of rough on them casters but they're still decent i haven't seen the fourth one so there probably was only th three I could probably throw them away too. Alright. That can go in there. Alright. That will take. Drill bits will take. Some carbide bits will take. Broken on the key. Number two, we'll keep it. There's some brass. Mm, no. There's some brass in here. Take that. Any of these little bits, I lose them so fast, so I'm gonna try to hold on to them. Because the first time I lose, use them, I lose them, so. trinkets but the rest of it will be sorted out for scrap all right second to last box of stuff 
into the piece of wire trying to be a pain. I caught bumps of this when I was emptying out the garbage can. You know, the leg hole track. Don't see no name on it. And I brushed it up. We'll keep that. More wire. Like the base to a vice or something broke. A broken, broken pipe wrench with the end broke up. Guess if I threw it on a cheater pipe, it wouldn't matter. Some random crap. Steel wool. I'll keep that. This stuff ain't getting no cheaper either. in the perfect little pocket blower. Here. That's a pocket find right there. That's going in my pocket right now. That way I don't lose them. I'll get cleaned up. And I'll probably carry it in my pocket. Along with all the other things I carry it over. And a little wire brush. Pretty good. Alright. So. Let's see. Those are for filling cannon jars. Keep that for the light. You never know what you're gonna find. Alright, get this one through over here. Oh. All in all, probably about 300 pounds of just scrap steel, if anything. If I end up scrapping out all the just steel parts of it. Homemade things. Electric motor. Yes. Pencils. We keep pencils. Some wire. Some wire. Power supply for sale that nobody knows anymore. retrieval tool general USA that could be handy too so you never know what you're doing alright that looks nice big old copper ground They're in good shape too. Them probably won't get scrapped. I'll probably keep them. Them can be handy. I don't know. But that's the kind of stuff you can find when you're digging around. And you decide you want to go curb shopping as they call it. Alright, well that is it. That is what I found. We've got 
probably a couple hundred pounds at least of scrap steel i added quite a bit to my wire bin got a little miscellaneous box of tools and whatnots and trinkets and yeah i decided not to keep that Your jaws look awful good on it though The whole thing looks decent. It's just weird. Like a little loop would have broke off the end. Yeah, trying on it too hard. That's what we ended up with. So, I probably look like a wreck, but it's been a rough day. It's cold. But I'm Jarvis. This is It's Not Junk TV.